So I use satellites in space to measure the atmosphere. Um, I'm particularly interested in um, a chemical called ozone. Ozone is absolutely vital for life on Earth, and if it wasn't in our atmosphere, no life could exist. Um, it stops the harmful radiation from uh, the sun from killing cells, living cells and tissue on Earth. So it's very important to measure it, monitor it, and to do that we use satellites in space. That's because they can measure globally, every day. We then use computers to process this data and produce maps, uh, a bit like this. And we use this information to detect how much ozone is there. So we can do things like measure the ozone hole around Antarctica, um, and we can see if it's filling in or not. The satellites measure light as it passes through the atmosphere and we're able to use that information and what we understand about the atmosphere and how light passes through it to understand what gases are in it. So when light passes through ozone, certain frequencies are absorbed more than others and that's a signature that we can detect. Um, and we use this to actually quantify how much ozone is there. So we can produce maps of the, of the planet and how much of maps of ozone and they tell us where there is a lot, where there is little. Understanding how light works is fundamental to what I do. Uh, we couldn't understand so many processes unless we understood how light interacts with matter. Light will be absorbed or scattered at different frequencies depending on what is in the air. Ozone, for example, has a particular spectral signature that we can see. So it only absorbs at very particular wavelengths, which is how we measure what's there. Light isn't only absorbed, it's also scattered. Clouds, for example, are excellent uh, for scattering light. So we have to model that when we try and understand how the atmosphere works with light. Measuring the atmosphere from space is important. It helps us improve weather forecasts. It helps us uh, monitor air quality, so the air that we breathe. And it's also important for climate change because we can monitor how the atmosphere is changing and understand why. So in order to interpret satellite measurements, we need to understand how light passes through the atmosphere and how it interacts with the atmosphere. There are two main processes that we care about. One is scattering um, and the other is absorption. And this is a demonstration to show uh, how it's very difficult to tell which is which. So we have some ink, and we have some milk. The ink represents gases in the atmosphere, and the milk represents clouds, which scatter. And these little petri dishes with water in are, are like little layers in the atmosphere that we use um, to simulate what happens to light as it passes through the atmosphere. So I'm going to put the ink in the water. and you can see it turns black. Essentially it's black because it's absorbing light. And there's the milk that represents the clouds. That's white, and it's white because it's scattering. All the uh, little molecules inside the milk are scattering the light. But as you can see on the screen, the light that's transmitted through both of these both look dark, and you can't tell which is which. You can't tell uh, what's happening to the light as it's passing through and what's transmitted. So you have to have a different measurement, an independent measurement, to understand what's going on. And this independent measurement is looking at it directly, where we see one is dark and one is light. Um, so yeah, so we have the dark, which is absorbing, the light, which is scattering. But from space, it's very difficult to tell which is which. 